but now I try to uh, compress my talk in one slide. <laughs> in my mind, neutrino is one of the necessary radiation from our cells. There was a mistake 24 years ago. They tried to detect the neutron inside a neutrino detector. <laughs> if, by fortune, they turn on the neutrino detector 24 years ago, <coughs> the history might be different. <laughs> However, we still have chance. We lost the first, we tried to catch the second. Now, in the 24 years, the neutrino detector changed the size from such large, that's a boat, <laughs> to pe three people on it to fix the tube. And reduced to such a size, it's three meter by three meter. Even more, they can reduce the detector size, such size. We can put it on the back of pickup truck. The people may ask, if you reduce the size, does it work? Yes. More than five years ago, they put this in the reactor in California. That's a fission reactor. That's a tender gallery of a reactor underground. They just put this in. What's the result? That's the curve. Can you see the yellow line, the orange line? That's the reactor power reported. What is the black line? is the people calculate based on this power what's the anti-neutrino emission that's the black line the dot, the dot um, the detector result how much is it more than 600 per day the reactor power is a gigawatt for our cold fusion <laughs> cells Maybe the largest one, now we can build from kilowatts to one megawatt. We can make it surround and very close to it because this one is in the uh, corridor uh, gallery, is 25 meters away from the reactor core. Then what's the problem? <laughs> the Liverpool scientists developed this technology just for fishing reactor. So this neutrino detector just detect anti-neutrino. For our cold fusion, we need a neutrino detector. So, if anyone here knows the Livermore scientist and your friend, just try to help me to find a neutrino detector such as I. Okay, that's my talk. <laughs>